If you're interested in FIFA Mobile, I currently have a second channel where we run a FIFA Mobile Road to Glory, link down below. And if you need any coins for Ultimate Team to get a head start on the game, head to the link in the description, use the code TVM for a discount at checkout. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to a brand new video on our second mid-season player, this time I apologise in advance for this pronunciation. Zhong Wu Yong. They're called storyline cards. I'm just going to call them mid-season because that's essentially what it is. You are halfway through the season, even though we are, what, four days in and we've already hit the midway point. But uh, four star, four star, medium, medium work rates, which is our first snag. Lean body type, which is very nice indeed. And 5'10", so good height. Um, not the best of work rates. I really don't like medium, medium on attacking players. Now, if you're talking... Just a bit of fun, not really going to pay too much attention to how good he actually is in terms of a competitive sense. It's not a problem. If you want to actually use this guy in Rivals or Weekend League, then we can start to discuss how much of, of an annoying thing medium-medium work rates are. High-low is the best, high-medium is good, and then medium-medium for this position, not ideal. 96 acceleration and 86 sprint speed, there is a 10 differential there which is, again, another one of those really annoying things. It's it's good, though, that he has the 96 acceleration. If it was the other way around, it would really be a drag, quite literally, because he would, uh, he would not be... He would sort of have to stretch his legs across a longer distance to be able to build up the speed. Now, though, acceleration doesn't necessarily mean how quick he is in a straight line over 10, 20 metres. It also... Uh, has an effect on how fast he is in reacting, uh, moving, doing turns and, and doing the R1 dribble and just left stick dribble in general. So 96 acceleration is very nice. I really like his agility and his balance, both 96 and 97. Ball control and dribbling for an 82 rated card, very good, 87, 86. Good finishing actually, 85 uh, with good positioning, 83. And then stamina at 80. That is usable, I'm not going to complain. 81 short passing, 85 crossing. I mean, to be fair, considering this card is an 82 rated, we've. I mean, you've got the building blocks there. You, you really have something to work with. There are definitely negatives, and you know what's coming. It's the 77 reactions, and it's the 74 composure. Those two, composure more than the reactions for me personally, those two, shocking. Not a fan of them at all. But, you know, for an 82-rated card, I, I'm not expecting to have 99s or mid-90s everywhere. You know, you're going to have those stats that don't quite match up to, to what you want. Uh, fortunately, it does link to that super overpowered... I say super overpowered, not these days, but the ones to watch card from Leipzig. I can never... Juan He Chan, is that how you say his name? I keep forgetting his name. And, and for the purpose of this video as well, I'm probably going to call the guy we're reviewing Wu because I... Well, can't pronounce the other two and I don't know which order they go in because everything I read footpin has Wu Yong Zhong and then the card says Zhong Wu Yong so I've got no idea which one is correct you'd imagine the one that's on FIFA and written on the card but FIFA are notorious for mistakes so maybe not uh, with regards to how good his finishing is to be fair it's not bad it is definitely hit and miss with regards to the composure and that is the biggest downfall of the card in general I guess is because he's fast enough and good enough on the ball to get into some really nice deadly positions but then when he gets there you don't know which version is going to turn up could it be the guy who buries the shot or could it be the guy who completely shanks it because his composure is not good enough that is something that unfortunately can't be improved it doesn't matter what chem style you use it doesn't matter how good you are at the game. If the card doesn't want to hit the target, card ain't going to hit the target. So it, it's one of those things you're going to have to put up with. One of those things you just have to get used to and hope that doesn't affect you too much. His pace and his dribbling, I mean, wow, sight to behold. I can understand why people would want to take this card over the other two. Now, Tello has a review already on the channel. Feel free to go check that out if you're interested in him. I won't have a review of the Celta Vigo defender. Forgot his name. Is it I do? I won't have a review of him because I don't have three accounts to use. So I can't, unfortunately, do that. But I'm sure everyone else has chosen him. So that's why I tend to go with the ones that 
wouldn't normally get chosen. Uh, this guy's pace, though, and, and a, as an option off the bench, is definitely something you should consider if you haven't quite reached the midway point yet and you haven't chosen what play you want to use. Obviously, it depends on who you currently have on the bench. And I say on the bench because more often than not, I suppose, if you're at this stage of the game, uh, and well, it's this stage of the season, I should say, and you are minuscule points, a couple of hundred points, maybe even a thousand points, two thousand points, off unlocking the mid-season cards, the storyline cards, then you'll probably have a team already that is better than than this card. You have players in your squad and even probably on your bench, to be fair, that are better than this guy. But if you're thinking, well, I might only reach halfway this season, I mean, maybe by the time you get there, he'll be usable. It's one of those like cards, and I've said about it before, uh, even in the Tello review, it's one of those cards that I just... I find it very difficult to, to believe that anyone would put this guy in their team and it would be an improvement over what they have. Because if, you've, if you're there already, you're, and I wouldn't say you're a hardcore player, but you've played a lot of FIFA recently, right? So your team is probably pretty decent. If you take ages to get there, by the time you actually do get there again, the, the game has come on so much that your team is probably better than this card. So... With that, even though I've got him down as competitive, because I think at the moment, if you have him, bringing him off the bench isn't a terrible idea. Although there are 101 cards better than this guy in the game that you can bring off the bench that don't cost more than, say, 15k. I still think that if you do decide to bring him off the bench in rivals especially, but even in weekend league against certain opponents, he will be able to do a job for you because his pace is electric. And if you are up against tired legs, he's going to beat them. And in if you can make sure that you pass the ball off rather than going for goal because you can't rely on the composure, you'll be all right. I wouldn't recommend it, but you will be all right. The, the place where I recommend playing this guy is objectives. Managerial masterpiece only requires a 77 rated team. You can link him to the ones to watch. Leipzig striker, both of those have got an abundance of pace. Use them both as the strikers, for example, or maybe use one as a, a right wing and one as a striker. And you've got yourself a very fast duo up front that can cause damage against lower rated defenses because that is the type of player this guy is. If you're looking to play him in weekend league, he's going to come undone against the better defenders and of course the better goalkeepers and of course the better players in general really. If you've got someone, you're playing against someone who is capable of stopping just pace just pure pace and nothing else so for example Adama Traore doesn't offer an awful lot but pace and a bit of strength but if you're playing against someone who knows how to combat that which most people do these days it's going to be the same for this guy so playing him up against someone who doesn't have great defenders in managerial masterpiece is the way to go in my opinion good card just a shame that EA have felt the need to give him an 82 and maybe not like an 83, 84. That would have been slightly more usable in a competitive sense, but not bad. Let me know who you've chosen in the comments down below or on Twitter. Link for that is in the description. Hit the like button if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for new. And until the next time, goodbye. Join the betting rebellion and find out what your football knowledge is really worth.